Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living, and I will show you the resident thirsty panting dog. That is Murray, who uh, the channel is partially named after. But uh, this is uh, just finished up with a live broadcast, and was talking with a bunch of guys. Uh, uh, Chris, Chris, Melvin, Hamish, Numa. A whole bunch of people that I've been talking to on the live broadcast getting some ideas for some videos because I was just thinking why how about what you guys want to hear or see and uh, uh, one of the guys knew my had expressed an interest in whatever happened to this because I'd started doing some stuff with this and it just kind of petered out and uh, then I, I have recently found a technician and have been in contact with him and I'll show you uh, what we're talking about this is a huge uh, Kohler fast response to I want to say it's a 60k generator with a 200 gallon diesel tank and uh, all the gen set switches and everything like that so I'm gonna flip you around and show you this stuff and it cranks and runs it cranked and ran three years ago the starter uh, kept cracking the uh, solenoids and that was the problem and so but it's a diesel so i mean it shouldn't be too terribly hard and uh like i said more come there you go there it is in all its dirty unglory um the battery to uh do the auto starts there uh the genset control box is here and i'll crack this open and everything is in good shape and and repair on that there we go and then that is the fuel tank so something we've been working on and like I said I, I want to say I, I could be wrong on this because I can't remember exactly uh, how many kilowatts it was but it was a buttload of kilowatts and so I'm gonna get them just to go through it the motor and the generator are good condition but it needs to be serviced and just have them go through everything and redo it uh, you know whatever needs to be serviced and uh, we'll try to get this thing up on a reasonable budget my plan after that once we get it going again is uh, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna put it on the trailer and because we may not be here uh, living here for a very long time this is terribly expensive I'll never get another one of these uh, that came with the property and we're getting ready to tear this trailer down uh, scrap it out and then burn uh, what's left so this thing is going to go with us whether or not we decide to uh, sell or build here uh, on the property. So, there's a microprocessor. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, walk around here. And, and, and I have so many projects going on, and it's my own fault that I just run out of time. And there is that one, and the starter is cracked. Well, you can't see it, but it, it's, it's cracked on the back side. Or the solenoid, I'm sorry. I keep saying starter, but it's a starter solenoid. It's cracked on the back side. So that is what we are getting ready to start doing. More time. But this is the fuel tank. And it only has about 20 gallons of diesel. I seem to remember I poured 20 into it right before we quit cranking this thing up. Her mother, uh, she has dementia, and she didn't like it plugged in because it was it was sucking her electricity. Um, so that's you know one of the things we've been dealing with. So it was just better to just let her go like that. Oh, and for uh, people who have asked me, there is the uh, Murray Gator. That's my uh, four-wheel drive six-wheeler that I built. And these are canoes and kayaks. 
that we use and play with. Ah, back there you can see my go-kart uh, for the mud. Okay. All right, guys, so I guess we're going to wrap it up. Hooch just came home. I helped her unload groceries out of the car. And we're getting ready to go inside. I got to go do a uh, little bit of work tomorrow. Uh, a little bit of stuff out of town, but close enough to where I can uh, be home for dinner. So you can't freaking beat that. Anyway, just a second, guys. You're going to see a picture of my ugly mug pop up in here, as well as my beautiful wife. On the opposite side are going to be some uh, videos if we... We are indeed your brand of wacky. The dog keeps kicking me. He's a pain in the butt. He's a good dog. Anyway, guys, go take care of your people.